Health Physics, Wikipedia Audio Health Physics is the applied physics of radiation protection for health and health care purposes. It is the science concerned with the recognition, evaluation, and control of health hazards to permit the safe use and application of ionizing radiation. Health physics professionals promote excellence in the science and practice of radiation protection and safety. Health physicists principally work at facilities where radionuclides or other sources of ionizing radiation are used or produced. These include hospitals, government laboratories, academic and research institutions, nuclear power plants, regulatory agencies, and manufacturing plants. There are many subspecialties in the field of health physics, including the subfield of operational health physics, also called applied health physics in older sources, focuses on field work and the practical application of health physics knowledge to real-world situations, rather than basic research. Scope The field of health physics is related to the field of medical physics and they are similar to each other in that practitioners rely on much of the same fundamental science in both fields. Health physicists, however, focus on the evaluation and protection of human health from radiation, whereas medical health physicists and medical physicists support the use of radiation and other physics-based technologies by medical practitioners for the diagnosis and treatment of disease. Practical ionizing radiation measurement is essential for health physics. It enables the evaluation of protection measures, and the assessment of the radiation dose likely, or actually received by individuals. The provision of such instruments is normally controlled by law. In the UK it is the Ionising Radiation Regulations 1999. Ionising Radiation Instrumentation and Measurement, Internal Dosimetry and External Dosimetry, Radioactive Waste Management, Radioactive contamination, decontamination, and decommissioning, radiological engineering, environmental assessment, radiation monitoring, and radon evaluation, operational radiation protection slash health physics, particle accelerator physics, radiological emergency response slash planning, industrial uses of radioactive material, medical health physics public information and communication involving radioactive materials biological effects slash radiation biology radiation standards radiation risk analysis nuclear power radioactive materials and homeland security radiation protection nanotechnology the measuring instruments for radiation protection are both installed and portable. Installed instruments are fixed in positions which are known to be important in assessing the general radiation hazard in an area. Examples are installed area radiation monitors, gamma interlock monitors, personnel exit monitors, and airborne contamination monitors. The area monitor will measure the ambient radiation, usually X-ray, gamma, or neutrons. These are radiations which can have significant radiation levels over a range in excess of tens of meters from their source, and thereby cover a wide area. Interlock monitors are used in applications to prevent inadvertent exposure of workers to an excess dose by preventing personnel access to an area when a high radiation level is present. Airborne contamination monitors measure the concentration of radioactive particles in the atmosphere to guard against radioactive particles being deposited in the lungs of personnel. Ionization chambers proportional counters, Geiger counters, semiconductor detectors, scintillation detectors. Personnel exit monitors are used to monitor workers who are exiting a contamination-controlled or potentially contaminated area. 
These can be in the form of hand monitors, clothing frisk probes, or whole body monitors. These monitor the surface of the worker's body and clothing to check if any radioactive contamination has been deposited. These generally measure alpha or beta or gamma, or combinations of these. The UK National Physical Laboratory has published a good practice guide through its Ionising Radiation Metrology Forum concerning the provision of such equipment and the methodology of calculating the alarm levels to be used. Quartz fiber dosimeter, film badge dosimeter, thermoluminescent dosimeter, solid state dosimeter. Operational health physics. Portable instruments are handheld or transportable. The handheld instrument is generally used as a survey meter to check an object or person in detail, or assess an area where no installed instrumentation exists. They can also be used for personnel exit monitoring or personnel contamination checks in the field. These generally measure alpha, beta, or gamma, or combinations of these. Transportable instruments are generally instruments that would have been permanently installed, but are temporarily placed in an area to provide continuous monitoring where it is likely there will be a hazard. Such instruments are often installed on trolleys to allow easy deployment, and are associated with temporary operational situations. A number of commonly used detection instruments are listed below. The links should be followed for a fuller description of each. In the United Kingdom the House has issued a user guidance note on selecting the correct radiation measurement instrument for the application concerned. This covers all ionising radiation instrument technologies, and is a useful comparative guide. Dosimeters are devices worn by the user which measure the radiation dose that the user is receiving. Common types of wearable dosimeters for ionising radiation include The fundamental units do not take into account the amount of damage done to matter by ionising radiation. This is more closely related to the amount of energy deposited rather than the charge. This is called the absorbed dose. Medical Physics Radiation Protection Instruments Equal doses of different types or energies of radiation cause different amounts of damage to living tissue. For example, 1 GY of alpha radiation causes about 20 times as much damage as 1 GY of X-rays. Therefore, the equivalent dose was defined to give an approximate measure of the biological effect of radiation. It is calculated by multiplying the absorbed dose by a weighting factor WR, which is different for each type of radiation. This weighting factor is also called the Q or RBE. The gray, with units J slash KG, is the SI unit of absorbed dose, which represents the amount of radiation required to deposit one joule of energy in one kilogram of any kind of matter, the RAD, is the corresponding traditional unit, which is 0.01 J deposited per KG. 100 RAD equals 1 GY. Installed instruments Portable instruments Instrument types Guidance on use Radiation dosimeters For comparison, the average background dose of natural radiation received by a person per day, based on 2000 UNCR estimate, makes bread 6.6 mu.sv. However local exposures vary, with the yearly average in the U.S. being around 3.6 MSV, and in a small area in India as high as 30 MSV. The lethal full-body dose of radiation for a human is around 4-5 SV. The sievert is the SI unit of equivalent dose. Although it has the same units as the gray, J-KG, it measures something different. 
for a given type and dose of radiation applied to a certain body part of a certain organism, it measures the magnitude of an X-rays or gamma radiation dose applied to the whole body of the organism, such that the probabilities of the two scenarios to induce cancer is the same according to current statistics, the REM is the traditional unit of equivalent dose. 1 sievert equals 100 REM. Because the REM is a relatively large unit, typical equivalent dose is measured in millirem, 103 REM, or in microsievert, 106 SV1 REM equals 10 mu SV dot. A unit sometimes used for low-level doses of radiation is the BRET. This is the number of days of an average person's background radiation exposure the dose is equivalent to. This unit is not standardized, and depends on the value used for the average background radiation dose. Using the 2000 UNCR value, one BRET unit is equal to about 6.6 μSV. In 1898, the Röntgen Society established a committee on X-ray injuries, thus initiating the discipline of radiation protection. According to Paul Frame Units of Measure The term health physics is believed to have originated in the Metallurgical Laboratory at the University of Chicago in 1942, but the exact origin is unknown. The term was possibly coined by Robert Stone or Arthur Compton, since Stone was the head of the health division and Arthur Compton was the head of the metallurgical laboratory. The first task of the health physics section was to design shielding for reactor CP1 that Enrico Fermi was constructing, so the original HPs were mostly physicists trying to solve health-related problems. The explanation given by Robert Stone was that, the term health physics has been used on the plutonium project to define that field in which physical methods are used to determine the existence of hazards to the health of personnel. A variation was given by Raymond Finkel, a health division employee during this time frame. The coinage at first merely denoted the physics section of the health division, the name also served security, radiation protection might arouse unwelcome interest, health physics conveyed nothing. The following table shows radiation quantities in SI and non-SI units. Although the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission permits the use of the units Curie, RAD, and REM alongside SI units, the European Union European Units of Measurement Directives required that their use for public health purposes be phased out by December 31, 1985. Absorbed Dose Equivalent Dose History The term health physics Radiation-related quantities